All right, everyone, so it is time to talk about some gorgeous new sunglasses again. And today it's going to be one of the Tallulah Lee frames. So these I have down here, actually. I forgot, they're not back up here yet. I gotta do some swapping around. Actually, those two are. I'm losing it, y'all. Let's get over to the sunglasses. All right, so as it goes, these are a very special trio of frames. In fact, these are the only three you will see. The only three available, the only three made. You guys know I like my weird stuff and exclusive stuff, and that's what this stuff is. Now, these in particular, I'm really fond of. Now, this is kind of an artist top collection, and I don't know if you've seen the other videos. I'll link them up here, but they're all about making more of a signature look that can go with a lot of different things because the apparel line they have is really, really bold and really colorful. So, of course, to go with all of their colorful outfits, you need glasses that are a little bit more subdued and they use shape and different things like that to make a statement. This is one of the very few exceptions to that rule because they've got this acetate that the camera is not very friendly to. So what this amounts to, this is a very translucent, almost a crystal-like teal with some black striations, really makes a nice effect on the face. And you can see here, it's very transient to light. So when it's dark, it's dark. When it's a light, it's light. But let's see if we can get some light that's a little bit more forgiving behind it. There we go. Now you can see the real beauty of this frame. So as light passes through that, it really comes to life. And of course, this being a sunglass at its core, that's what you're gonna see most of the time. Now, what's nice with these, and I'll show you towards the end of the video what it actually looks like on the face. And that's gonna dial back a little bit because of course, the light won't be passing all the way through. So especially with darker complexions, you're gonna get a more subtle statement versus what this appears right here with the light behind it, especially if we get up there. <laughs> Uh, so they call this frame the Aurora, and I think that is a very, very fitting name for these because of that very transient, very nice teal green shade. You know, you can definitely tell there's some inspiration there. Easy, easy, easy to see the beauty in these frames. Now, I do like, it's a very clean, very simple design, and you've got the very soft, straight, smooth temples all the way back with that traditional hockey end fit at the back. They're nicely balanced on the face, and of course, we've got my favorite, the five barrel hinge back here. Now, yeah, limited, three, only three. I can't even get my fingers in there, look at that. Now. You know, I always talk about the fit of the frame. It really comes down to seeing it from the back. So what you've got over here, when you get to the bridge, you've got a very nice amount of splay on the temple here. What's really cool with these, and this is kind of unique to this collection, I don't see it done much on others, but they run a more narrow bridge on a larger frame size overall, making it really, really easy for a petite face to get that nice oversized look and still have a good fitting pair of sunglasses or glasses eventually, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, so that's really what I am fond of about these. Now they are handmade frames, of course, in nine stage polishing. So that high luster, of course, absolutely gorgeous. And you guys know I am a sucker for a beautiful polish on a frame. It just happens to be the way that I am. So, but there you go. Very nice overview on these. Let's throw one on, see how they actually look. So there you go. In here you can see, as I talked about where this is up pretty close to the brow, that light doesn't really pass through the frame as much in here. Now if we come over here directly under the lighting, you'll see these little bits kind of pop. So what's really cool, and as I mentioned, the Aurora is the name of these, as light passes over it, as you're walking around, you can see you get just those little pops of teal that come and they flow and they go on about their way. You know, this actually isn't even that bad on me. What do you guys think? Do I need this one? Maybe. No. <laughs> I think somebody would be mad at me if I took one of only three. I know the designer might. <laughs> but I took one of one, so that counts. My crystal pair. Anyways. So, 
Definitely something you want to add to your collection if you like something that's a little bit more special, really makes a nice pop and a nice statement, but still doesn't kind of a subtle way like my black frame I was wearing at the beginning of the video. Black with little pops of blue here and there. Just a really nice way to add to a wardrobe. Something that can really become a signature look. And uh, see, look, even as I'm talking and recording, I'm falling in love with the way the till pops across the brow line. I can't do it. I'm done. I'm rambling. I know you guys are sick of it. So I will catch you guys next time. If you're new to this channel, like, subscribe, follow along. Definitely check down in the comments if you're interested in these and to learn a little bit more about what Tallulah Lee is doing. They do some stuff a little bit different too. Now this one is excluded being a very, very limited piece, but most of their frames, they do a trade-in program. And we'll talk about that on one of the other ones. I've been rambling too much today. So I will catch you guys next time. Take care.